Start recording. Speak. Hey you guys, welcome to my channel. Speech on. Stop recording. Button. Speech off. Um, sorry you guys, I was making sure that was working, but welcome to my channel. Or welcome back. I thought in today's video, um, I would explain a little bit um, more in depth about what my eye condition is. Um... <clears throat> And different things like that, just for, you know, the YouTube disclaimer thingies that you always have to put when you are talking about any type of medical um, video or any type of medical topic. I am not a um, medical professional or anything of that sort. This is just my experience, what I've been told by medical professionals, and what I have found through my own research. So if you have questions about if you have the same eye condition as I do, please consult with your eye doctor or... <clears throat> primary care physician about seeing a appropriate eye um uh, appropriate ophthalmologist or eye eye care professional um so i have coloboma which is a condition where there can be a hole in any um structure of the eye um i believe yeah the eyelid the iris the lens the optic nerve or the retina there can be a hole in any of those structures um <clears throat> excuse me mine is located in the retinas in both eyes but um generally this condition can either be genetic or just some sort of environmental fluke um, they believe in my case that it was both parents had the gene and uh, the recessive gene and um, that's how I ended up with it um, but granted I was diagnosed um, almost 23 years ago now like, I want to say around this August will make around, will make 23 years of my diagnosis because I was diagnosed around a month after birth. So, um, genetic testing wasn't really something that was, it was around, but it wasn't something that was really covered by insurance back then. So it really didn't get done to confirm anything because it really wouldn't have changed the treatment plans because there, um, there's no cure for coloboma. Um, um, especially retinal coloboma, there really isn't much that can be done i know with coloboma there's a lot of kids like me who have um who have who also have um what's the word where our eyes shake and don't focus very well um so i also had that on top of my um on top of that, and, um, I had to get a couple muscle surgeries as a child, excuse me, because my, because one eye would drift over and not stay where it was supposed to stay, so they had to do surgeries to help try to hold that eye in place, like muscle surgeries, um, so, but, um, I don't know about a lot about the, 
the formation of other colobomas, but I do know with retinal colobomas that um, that there is a um, generally the retina is kind of like a curtain um, and usually during development that curtain completely closes so that way there's no disturbance in the um, visual field but in my case that curtain never completely closed um, and so there was like a hole there's a hole kind of in the center um, center of both of my retinas. Um, so whenever I was born, I had some peripheral vision. Um, and the way I was diagnosed, um, was when I was born, my eyes were crossing and the doctors at the hospital initially kind of brushed my mom off when she brought it up. She was like, this doesn't look right. Like this, I don't think this is supposed to happen. And they're like, it does happen to some, to some babies. Um, so don't, kind of don't worry about it. Um, but a few weeks later, uh, one of my checkups at the pediatrician, they were like, you're right, like, this shouldn't be happening, like, three, four weeks out after birth. So that's how I got transferred out to um, an eye doctor, and I still see this eye doctor to this day. Um, and he did... Uh, a lot of extensive testing and found out that I did indeed have coloboma um, of the retinas. And so they were not, I think they knew I had some vision, but it's hard to know for sure how well you can see until you're a little bit older, just because um, an infant can't you know, really tell you anything, um, can't tell you what they can see, what they can't see, so they can guesstimate based on, you know, the positions of the colobomas and things like that, but they, um, can't really, um, do anything to help, or they can do things to help, but they can't really tell you for sure what their visual acuity is going to be, um, so, I think I had my first glasses when I was, like, six months old, I think. Um, you know, they did some muscle surgeries. I think they tried to do patching to help my weaker eye be able to see a little bit better. Um, and I had peripheral vision up until the age of five. Um, because once your retinas are damaged, um, there's always a greater chance of detachment. So they always kind of watch you for that. Um, and my eye doctor was in doing a muscle surgery, like I said, for that eye that always kind of drifted. And he noticed that my retina was bleeding. So they sent me to a pediatric retinal specialist. And she realized that both of my retinas were indeed detached. And they were able to reattach my retinas. But after the fact, um, they realized I had, or after the fact, I still lost um, my remaining vision. They're not exactly sure why, if it was too late or what exactly happened. But... Um, you know, it's, there, um, I'm just glad if it had to happen, it happened when I was so little, so I could, you know, learn braille, learn how to use a cane, all those skills when I was so little, 
which is so much harder to do as an adult, um, having to adjust to no vision as an adult, adjust to having low vision to no vision as an adult. Um, so I, from what I believe, from last time I have checked my, checked online, one third of coloboma patients aren't visually affected. Their colobomas are cosmetic. One third have some have a high level of vision still or visually impaired and then one third are like me and have lost their vision but I'm not sure if that's accurate um because a lot of the parents that I see in the Facebook groups their kids still have some vision but I don't know if just us totals don't really aren't really represented because we're such a small um group um compared to everybody else compared to the cosmetic colobomas and the kids who still have some remaining vision um but I just can't get on with it you know there's no point in crying about it and that's why I'm here educating people and you know tell people take care of your eyes and all of that fun stuff so your vision can stay good for as long as it can thank you for watching and i'll see y'all in the next one speech on 50 percent stop recording button